Yeah, good afternoon, Brittany. Last night, the National Transportation Safety Board revealing that that door plug was found along with two cell phones found that had fallen from a plane. Today, we learned that a headrest fell 16,000 feet to the ground as well. And this afternoon, we learned something very big, that the United Airlines has found loose bolts on some door plugs of the planes that it has inspected. So that could be a major clue for investigators. It has been quite a series of events since Friday, and Evan Watson uh, has a story from Washington County where that plane debris has found. This wasn't even an emergency door. We're at the end of the plane, so the emergency door is right there. It was just a piece of the plane. Days after a cabin door plug blew off during a flight out of Portland, people are finding spare parts. That cabin door plug, a headrest, and a phone all found close to each other in southwest Portland. NTSB shared these photos of part of that door plug, which a Portland teacher found in his backyard. Next door, Diane Flaherty had yet to make the connection. On the edge of the patio over by the fountain, I discovered this headrest. I'm like, that's weird. Where did the dogs find a headrest? She realized it looked just like an Alaska Airlines headrest from her latest flight. Then it clicked. Once in a lifetime, obviously. It's just odd. It's just odd. I'm glad it was just something soft you know, coming into my backyard versus the door. <laughs> Not too far away. It was uh, just right over here in the bush on the side of the road. Sean Bates found a phone while looking for the plane's debris. Uh, the screen wasn't locked, so when I opened it up, uh, it had a baggage claim receipt for Alaska 1282 and flight travel plans, so I had to call the NTSB. Bates said he was stunned he found anything. Probably the number one comment I get is, sure, I drop my phone five feet off the table and it cracks, and this phone lines out of an airplane from 16,000 feet up and it's just fine. The NTSB is now investigating how a chunk of the plane, a Boeing 737 MAX 9 flown by Alaska Airlines, blew out during takeoff. Pilots made an emergency landing shortly after reaching over 16,000 feet. They landed back in Portland as oxygen masks dropped to help with the depressurization. Passengers say a boy's shirt was ripped off from the force. Luckily, no one was sitting next to the door plug. The NTSB says it's not aware of any major injuries to passengers. Okay, so there was no one seated there. There was thankfully no one seated near the window. Really? Yeah, they just said. You know, you just think you're lucky, you know? I think that kid was lucky he didn't get sucked out of the plane. I think we're lucky that something didn't hit the roof or hit somebody. The FAA ordered the grounding of 171 Boeing MAX 9 jets after the incident, with each plane now being individually inspected for any issues. Alaska and United are the two domestic passenger airlines that operate MAX 9 aircraft. The plug door was not an emergency exit, but part of the plane's design that could be turned into an additional emergency exit if an airline added more passengers. Gregory Fyth, a former senior air safety investigator with NTSB, says investigators will check Boeing build records and Alaska maintenance records. So they're going to be looking all the way back to the time this airplane was being built to see if there is a human error or a mechanical error or a materials error. Fyth says he wants to see how quickly the FAA, airlines and Boeing make any changes. Fortunately, we did not have any fatalities. If this airplane had been a lot higher, 35,000 feet, we'd be talking about a different story.